just wanted to uh, tell you some stuff. Make sure not to shoplift if you get bored. Um, just try to find rocks and sticks and uh, we live in an era of forcing people who professionally force other people's movements and speech and uh, these people who do that uh, monopolize that career by raising their kids to do the same thing over and over throughout lifetimes and generations and so um, you know just make sure to be careful because you have a lot of uh, people who are only for the purposes of uh, trying to uh, you know take over and to cause mental illnesses for you so you know just make sure to not maybe just maybe don't contact authorities um, it's not okay to contact authorities even though they may contact with children when you go to school as an adult um, a lot of your life gets judged by the authorities and then they build conflicts where they've already decided to preordain or manifest your future based off of watching you your whole life so the police and authorities sometimes aren't always the best people to speak to but if you have the chance to make a family and make kids then you can say and do whatever government uh, lets you get to that point um, and then also if authorities attack you um, it just you know it means we're in a concentration camp you know vampires and stuff today two vampires took my bike and uh, started talking about mental health and uh, about places to eat and of course the sh shelters and all the places are just food poisoning um, alleged quote-unquote lazy people and, uh, you know, here in the United States, you know, vampires get hungry and so they make their little food when people are kids, including mentally retarded people and stuff like that, you know, oftentimes it's uh, what vampires do. They're just making their little food after, uh, you know, doing a successful insurrection to another country and, and then um, aggregating for that insurrection. So... Um, you know, just make sure if you have problems, don't call the police and don't say bad words to anybody. Um, if you get angry, it's really difficult because people professionally, spiritually possess you. So that means that people professionally know how to make you yell and say bad words and threats. And um, just keep in mind that those people, um, that they remember a hundred things at a time. And in high school... Uh, you're expected to remember a hundred things at a time during tests like the Stanford Achievement Test, which we currently have, the SATs. When I went to high school, the SATs, um, I think, actually asked me if I knew all the states and capitals, and I couldn't memorize that because of uh, scaphocephaly and scaphocephaly um, <clears throat> being something that is a lifelong debilitation of the memory and vision. And, but it wasn't just because of scaphocephaly, it was because of uh, head blows, because of sustaining um, head injuries. And because I had to sustain so many head injuries um, regarding child abuse and adult abuse, uh, it's just really, it makes a difference pertaining to um, the ability to memorize. And uh, so just be careful to, just don't call the police as much as possible, um, even though they seem like good guys. Um, in your school during your free education and then also um, you know um, make sure to follow all of your school lessons but at the same time to understand that uh, wealthy people oftentimes don't go to free education and they don't learn about the death penalty and then they go out and make movies about um, they go out and make movies pertaining to the First Amendment thinking they have the First Amendment so as not being a wealthy person, you might not have the right to the Bill of Rights because it's, you know, called a Bill a bill of Rights in the, the Constitution of the United States of America Constitution. It's called the Constitution and Article 7 of it tells all of the bills. And uh, so we don't have the First Amendment and it's, and it's because abuse is determined by the ability to 
sustain a, a stable body. So if you can sustain a stable body, and so the thing that you might not understand is that my body was destabilized internally regarding my jugular vein. So that means that literally there's like a brain hemorrhage and contusions down my spine and it's called infarction. When a brain hemorrhage dries up inside of your head, it's called infarction. And uh, we have what's called subdural spaces and our subdural spaces uh, are the, the gaps between our brain and the other part of our brain which contains our jugular vein which is called the dura matter. And between the brain and the dura matter, there's also probabilities of having infarction tissues and legions of infarction and uh, so the contusions that I have down my spine are just little ways of uh, saying uh, oh we sucked we sucked blood from your spine and they got most of the stuff you know all the blood that went down my spine they sucked out most of it but those little contusions are visible on my CAT scan and uh, so and then also um, you know just be aware because uh, <clears throat> because vampires really do exist. They're called cannibals, and the FBI is of cannibals and vampires. So uh, the FBI is accessory after the fact to movies like Traces and Faces of Death, and Traces and Faces of Death are movies that include uh, murder, watching murders, vampire, uh, excuse me, watching uh, murders and um, people that are cannibals and stuff like that, which is vampires. And uh, so, you know, I think that, um, I think only the best, and I hope only the best, but um, just make sure, just try not to contact, don't express too much of your feelings to people, uh, you know, don't tell people about your feelings too much, uh, you know, maybe you can write a song or write a poem um, <clears throat> regarding the U.S. president, um, you know, I apologize about the U.S. president because one of the things that the decisions that were made about uh, George Bush's former presidency was that the United States president decided it would be better to, um, to I guess, manifest my life uh, in, the, in, in its own interest, and it wasn't successful in manifesting my life in its own interest without extortion. So because of that, um, you know, I just want to let you know that I, I have no ill will. Um, the United States president merged with communism most recently, and communism pertained to Mao Zedong and the starvation of millions of people, so please don't think that uh, if the United States goes into starvation it's because of anything that I've said or anything that anybody said to defend themselves because I'm not the one who asked the president to merge with communism and uh, communism if you look on the internet um, communism starves millions of people and it did with Mao Zedong and Chinese the Chinese economy and stuff like that so uh, according to the internet even though it might not be true I'm not sure I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody but um, and so I didn't do that and then um, also the United States presidency was uh, part of a leadership regarding the Ku Klux Klan and the slave trade. And um, the I Have a Dream speech was probably the only uh, significant event that uh, general education covered regarding, uh, regarding the U.S. president and loyalty to the U.S. president. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, the Bible says uh, not to have idols before me. And people who swear an oath on the Bible often make the U.S. president into a death threat and conduct court with Bible oaths or um, often use the opinion of people who come from religious backgrounds of swearing an oath on the Bible about making idols and stuff like that. So to make the U.S. president an idol to death, uh, according to its, even its own self, uh, is something that's illegal. And uh, so just please don't listen to anybody pertaining to any sort of statement regarding the United States president because any oral statement, if it's not conveyed and deposited, um, and if it's not in any sort of postage or anything, it's not really a mar remarkable thing. Only specifically pertaining to the United States not being of anything other than the peace treaty in California because the United States comes from peace treaty. Uh, people who are at peace with each other often say things that are common statements regarding uh, having good faith and so common statements regarding good faith are something that we all do and uh, so that's why I'm still alive is because of good faith one way or another and I hope that you're doing good.